Definitely not as forgiving. It's funny though, it did still spin right. 57, 79 on a kind of a pole draw. How's that one feel? It's slightly more solid than T100. Today we've got another ultimate iron comparison. We've got Thomas hitting the shots with seven players cavity iron models. That's Thomas's favorite category. We'll show you all the TrackMan data and tell you everything you need to know about these seven really precise iron models. And golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to our channel, you like the video, and you leave a comment and tell us which of these is your favorite. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing. And uh, another big one today, Thomas, uh, Players Cavity Irons. Um, I think it might be your favorite category. I know we've done muscle back blades already. That's another one you like, but this one is what's in your bag. Uh, actually, one of the models is already in your bag here. So uh, from, the, from 2021 and 2022, we've got seven models to test here, some of the most popular irons in that category. So um, Thomas, you look at this range here, we've got actually a really new one in particular, the Ping I-230. That'll be fun to test here, because I believe we've conducted tests before with a lot of these uh, you know, irons yep. head to head a little bit, but adding I-230 in there makes it kind of a completely new test here. So what do you think we'll find today? Well, this is my favorite category for the reason of consistency. Yeah. Um, we talk about loft helping with regards to consistency. There's not that much technology behind these particular irons. Typically, you, you hit hit it, you know what you're going to get. Yep. Um, so that's why I'm always excited to play these irons. And that's the reason why they're in my bag mm -hmm. is because I just, if I was going to play a player's distance iron, yeah, I could hit it far. Yeah. It, I might hit it far one time or I might hit it right. short the next time. Um, but generally speaking, you get what well, you're, what you're given, right? You, know, yep. you hit a good shot, it's going to go where it's going to go. You catch yep. it fat, it's going to go a little shorter. You're never mm -hmm. going to get that fly or a jumper over, over the green unless somehow some, some right. water gets stuck between the, the club face or grass between the ball and the, and the club face. But yep. yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited to test these. You know, they're all pretty close in loft. There's mm -hmm. like two iron models that I think are 33 degrees of loft, yep. but the rest are 34. So we're talking about that traditional loft what you're kind of looking at with regards to distances mm -hmm. with irons. Right, and so uh, to go over the seven models we have, we've got the TaylorMade P7MC, we've got the Ping I-230, the Mizuno JPX 921 Tour, the Titleist T100, the Cobra King MIM Tour, the Callaway Apex TCB, and the Wilson Staff Model CB. So, um, a lot of the kind of CBs in that nomenclature, right? Uh, talking about that shallow cavity back uh, yep. type of construction. So uh, we do have, we are you know, aware there's gonna be a 923 tour coming here soon, but the 921 tour is what we have from the last couple of years. And then of course, the new I-230 here out and available in fittings here in the fall of 2022. So we'll add that to the mix, but should be really good. A lot of good stuff here. We've tested a lot of these before and seen really good results. Uh, you know, going to be interesting to go back and revisit here at the end of the year. Yeah, and like for today's test, you know, talk about seven different irons. We'll hit five or six shots with each, each one. We're going to be playing the exact same golf shaft, Project X LZ 6.0, 120 grams, a fairly heavy, stiff golf shaft. I'll uh, be swinging just kind of normal, smooth swing. Mm -hmm. um, and they're all going to be at their standard lie or all standard length. Um, but it'll be interesting to at least talk about the differences. You know, I mentioned there's maybe one degree of loft between them. Yep. You see if there's any club out there that all of a sudden the spin rate is significantly higher or significantly sure. lower, or maybe the landing angle is a little bit better, or maybe get a little bit more ball speed, or right. we just see that consistency. Yeah. You know, if I'm seeing the standard deviation number, that's what I'm always looking at in mm -hmm. the fitting. Right, and to let's just before we get started, we can say the the Cobra King MIM Tour and the Ping I two thirty are the two models at thirty three degrees of loft and standard, and the rest are thirty four. So uh, keep that in mind as we go over the data here. But Thomas, uh, you ready to hit some shots? Let's do it. There you go. That was that good, wasn't it? Yep. Did well. Sorry, grammar. All right, next. Go to Cobra. Let's do Cobra. Okay. That's a little more ball speed, I feel like, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. One degree stronger. How's that one feel? I'm just out of curiosity. Because the it's whole the slightly whole, the, more solid than T100. So even though it's solid, supposed to be soft, it's, you say it's between yeah. a cast and a forge, probably. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I think I230 might be a cast. I think it is. Yep.
good start there. Yeah, that is good. That's as good as it gets. Just do that four more times in a row, I think. Mm -hmm. That was kind of cooked and cooking. Yeah. I guess it's fun I mean, a lot. Looks like but... I jumped on it a little bit. Yeah, that's much softer sounding. I don't know about yeah. the performance. Wow, that spin is up. Did you hit that good? I think I hit a little low on the face. I do remember though, I feel like when we did this test with MC, I feel like it was a higher spinning club. Yeah. Jeff, he's not as forgiving. <laughs> it is, it, it, it's funny though, it did still spin. Right. 57.79 on a kind of a pole draw. That was a better swing. All right, so Thomas, we've tested four models uh, so far, and um, I did that for, I, I picked these four for kind of a specific reason. So. You got all four heads in your hand there. Uh, talk to me about what you saw at address and then the feel as well. Well, feel was just so different with yeah. every single club. Like it was a, such a big change up. Yeah. We were talking about T T T100. Yeah. Forged felt really nice off the face, nice soft buttery feel. Mm -hmm. Then we got the the MIM technology. Yeah. Um, where it, so it felt almost feel like it was like a little in between forged and cast. Yeah. Uh, and then we had cast with the I230. Right. Felt really solid off the face. Felt a little more explosive off the face. Sure. And then back to the P7MC where it was buttery again, yeah. but it felt, didn't feel like it was as forgiving as the I230. Right. Yeah, so I kind of gave you the range of, of at least construction uh, methods, right? In terms of start with forge, went down to that, that MIM, which is kind of Cobra's unique you know, metal injection molding. It's a different way of building uh, a piece of, well, a piece of metal essentially. Um, and they, it's not forged, it's not cast, kind of in between. And then you went down to the cast of I-230 and then back up to the forged of the P7MC. And so yep. wide range there, but it, it seems like you really did notice those differences in feel. Um, and you kind of felt, I mean, it seemed like I kind of heard them in sound too. Yeah, you, you could definitely notice. It mm -hmm. was a big difference. I feel like my miss hits with I-230, I didn't maybe feel as much. Sure. Where I felt my miss hits, especially with the last time P7MC, yeah. where I just like, it just felt like, we noticed the bull went maybe a little further off, further off line as well. Yeah, sure, yep. sure. So let's let's actually bring that up. So um, let, let's go with the numbers first here, just what we have so far. Again, we'll summarize everything at the end, but I think it's worth noting that um, we've got the last two irons you hit were the I-230 and the P7MC, and there's that's kind of where things started to get different. And the I-230 is one of those 33 degree irons. So that, that lower spin could be part of that. But then we also saw the spin jump with the P7MC, yep. um, even compared to T100. So uh, interesting to note there. And I think we, I feel like in the past when we've tested P7MC has been kind of a higher spinning iron, but it was kind of, it was the lowest club speed too. So even if you had, you know, I mean, again, we're, we're nitpicking, but if you had matched right. that up a little bit even better, that spin probably jumps up even over 6,000. Uh, so something to note there, maybe a little bit more spin to be have a P7MC. Yeah, it was the highest spinning iron, but also flying on the lowest trajectory, 111 yeah. feet, where the others were between 115 mm. and 117. So I thought that, that was quite interesting. Yeah. Um, I also kind of noticed a little difference in look with these irons too. You know, P100, P7MC, they're, they, they almost look like blades. They're, yeah. they're borderline blades. Yeah. Um, we talk about the, the Cobra, the, the King Tour. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little larger, but the I-230 for sure is a little more forgiving. Yeah. It definitely, you know, heel to toe, that's cool. Kind of a longer really blade noticeable. length than the others and maybe a yep. thicker kind of top line. Yep. Okay, good to know. But um, good for good reason. It's, yeah. you know, it, there's a lot of guys on tour that, yeah. you know, played I-210 and will play to yeah. I-230. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's already won a few tournaments on, you know, PGA Tour, LPGA. I mean, there's a reason it's being played. Um, and there's also a reason I-210 was so popular and so successful for, what was it, four or five years yeah. between releases there. Um, and... I think what we're noticing though, and we have yet to do at this point I-230 versus I-210, but I think what we've heard so far from like fitters and, and you know, um, some of our team members that have tested is that I-230 spins less, yes. or, you know, not yeah. n uh, fewer RPMs than I-210. So we'll have to see for ourselves on a TrackMan test, but something to note there, because I remember I-210, you had mentioned before, like if someone needs spinning in this category, you, that's kind of the default yeah. iron that you would go to. Right, so, spin and height of the club that's got a little stronger loft. Right. Um, but now we're seeing that the spin's just a little bit lower with the same exact loft as I-210. Sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, one more thing before we hit the final three here, just want to bring up this map. Dispersion-wise, you kind of mentioned the P7MC just 
maybe not quite as forgiving as the other three. And you can see that when you did have a slight pull, kind of the ball sailed a little further left. If you maybe ever so slightly miss hit it, it had, uh, fell a little bit shorter. Yep. Um, now granted, I think just the more spin too resulted in that dispersion being a little bit shorter, but um, the other three circles are actually really tight up there. Right, no, the other three were really good. Um, yeah, I mean, in the day, it's, it was it's so far a good comparison of four irons. We've got three more to go, and mm -hmm. then we can really see where they all sure. kind of fit in. All right, let's get to it here. Should be good. All right, good deal. Let's go uh, Callaway. Callaway, Apex, TCB. Yeah, good ball. Yeah, this one better be the best performing since it's in your bag. Right. It, I must say, it looks pretty good to look down at. <laughs> I'm sure it does. <laughs> Been used to it all year. Oh, this version looks pretty good right now, I gotta say. Might be the most centered. It's a little right. No, oh, it's fine. That's a pretty good set of shots there, Thomas. That was a good one to finish with. All right, so Thomas, you hit the last three models, the Wilson Staff Model CB, um, the Callaway Apex TCB, and then the Mizuno JPX. Uh, so before we get into all the data, just quickly feedback, uh, sound and feel of those three. Well, these three were more similar. Yeah. Um, the first four that we, that we tested, there was quite a range right. on, on the feel, even the look a little bit. These three were a little, I mean, forged feel off the yeah, face, yep, yep. nice soft feel. A couple especially felt pretty good. And yeah. Mizuno, the last one was like, "Yep, this is buttery." Yep, yep, yep. This is this is this is kind of. Almost seemed like you feel. gained some confidence with that one as you felt it. You're, and then I mean, yeah, the shots. We'll get to that, but yep. I mean, pretty good dispersion with those too. Yeah, the last the last ten swings were good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, I mean, looking down at them, the with the Wilson maybe had a touch thicker top line compared to the two, but okay. it's not like it was the largest. The largest was probably the the I two thirty. Yep. But once again, for good for good reasons, the way that club's designed, yeah. a little bit more forgiveness. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then I mean, so in terms of the smallest club head, I think you said P seven MC, maybe T one hundred in the first four. Yep. Is there any of these that you know rival that one, or are those pretty similar to the yeah, so middle have pack? To really, really look close here at the at the top line between these four. Um, it would be uh, you know it would be T one hundred P seven MC. Uh, okay. Apex TCB and the the, the tour JPX 921 tour that okay. really they're pretty small pretty they're similar. All pretty pretty similar okay and on, on the top line there yep. okay very good yeah they're 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 awesome yeah. good looking clubs to look down at sure so we've got the data here that was again seven clubs um, we have five good shots on the board with each of them so walk me through all the data we can kind of go over the last three miles in particular and then we can kind of just highlight anything that is to be taken away from the entire set here. Yeah, so ball speeds within a mile an hour each each way. So then you can see here, we can focus more on ball speed and, and the efficiency number. So yep. highest ball speed, I-230. Yep. Who would have thought, right? Who also would have thought that the two irons at 33 degrees would be the highest ball speed. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, King, King Tour was second, 33. So that's just what should happen. Yeah. Yep. Um, but yeah, you can see if you scroll scroll all the way there, you can see a lot around about 125 to 126. Yeah, and we've got four irons there. I mean, five irons. So pretty much separation of two miles an hour between mm -hmm. all seven heads. Yep. Yeah. So consistency, right? Mm -hmm. That's you know that's where we're talking about consistency. Even yep. you don't quite catch it or you hit it really flush, you're gonna right. get pretty similar numbers all the way yep. across. Because then you look at that that smash factor number and you see plus or minus plus zero zero one. Or zero zero two with yep. with them all. So that's what you're looking yep. for as a as a better player. Mm -hmm. uh, launch angle. That's I'm this looking is, at those numbers. Yeah. It's very interesting. We got a couple. We have three irons that are at eighteen point seven. Yeah. It's funny that um, Ping is actually one of them. Cobra King Tour is in the middle of the pack there too, and then you have Mizuno and then the TCB under eighteen degrees, which is interesting to see that considering the loft situation we have. Yeah, it, it's interesting that I-230, like you said, is the highest launch at 18.7, even mm -hmm. though it's got a degree less loft on it. Yeah. And the same King Tour, once again, 18.5. So once again, the, just this, the difference in, in the high launch, but low spin with yeah. the pink I-230 is giving you that extra yardage. Yep. It's about three or four yards mm -hmm. further than kind of everything right. else. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, even one thing to touch on too as you go to spin is going to be, I think we have to touch on it as in the player's iron category, the, the better players are demanding a lot from their clubs, consistency on spin and how much it deviates. We need right. to talk at that. So there's, there's a couple of models there that performed really well in that category. There's a couple very close to a plus or minus 100. Yeah. So you got JPEX 921 Tour and T100. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, across the board, you're, you're looking at that. It's, it's, they're all going to be very, very right. acceptable with regards to the, the spin rate, once again, because they're, you're not going to get too many different shots out right. of the clubs when yeah. they're constructed. Um, carry distance, we can see range from 176.8 to 184.1. Mm -hmm. uh, P7MC, because it had the highest amount of spin, carried the lowest. Yep. Ping I-230, because it had the lowest amount of spin, carried the highest. Yep. And then everything else, you know, all the other five were 179.4 to 181.5. So, right. yeah, pretty, pretty similar across the board. With the exception, you got a little bit of an outlier of more spin with the P7MC. Yeah. And a little less spin with the I-230. Yeah, I think that was, uh, like, that's a, you know, two of the takeaways right there. Just the low spin of the I-230 and then kind of the extra spin of the P7MC. Definitely a couple of things that I think, um, when you look at irons in 33 or 34 degrees, I think, Golfers can maybe go into fittings um, with, with that in mind, that they right. know P7MC, maybe if I need more spin, that can be one I keep in mind. Vice versa, if I have a bunch of spin and maybe need to reduce it in this category, I-230 might be a good, good option. All right, and that extra spin is, you know, it's, it's gonna give you a, probably a little, a little bit better control. Yeah. Um, as opposed to the, the low amount of spin if you do get a little bit offline. Right. Um, I also kind of find it interesting that you can see here, 108 height to 117. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit of separation there, but I'd also find the ping I-230 once again, lowest spin, yeah. highest carry, and highest ball flight with the yeah. lowest amount of spin. And highest launch. And highest ball speed, and highest launch, yeah. Yeah, so. that's, a, that's a, kind of a fun combination there from I-230. Yeah. So, and it's, because I remember the I-210, like you mentioned, in terms of if you want, you need someone to get the ball in the air more, now they did it with more spin right. with the I-210. They now reduced getting, the spin here yeah. with I-230, but, but the, it seems like the ball flight and the height of the trajectory is still there. Yeah. Which is interesting to see So that. it's still getting in the air. Yeah. That's, that's the important thing here. So even though it's spinning a little less than previous model, is yeah. it still gets in the air and gives you that stopping power that, you, hmm. uh, that you're looking for. There we go. This is what we want to see now, the dispersion. So uh, I was alluding to the, the JPX 921 Tour. There's that kind of narrow, was it a kind of maroonish oval there in the middle? Yeah. Pretty solid. I Pretty think good. that might be the smallest one up there um, of five shots there with the 921 Tour. That was the last club you hit, but also I think what's rivaling it is the the white one, which was the first club that first you hit, club we hit the yeah. T100 there. Yeah, so T100. Those ones are both pretty good. Yeah, yeah, pretty good there. Um, Callaway Apex, TCB, you know, you can see a four with one over here on the right. Yep. I mean, you can't, you can't forget about I-230 that it's small, yeah. but it's also further up the screen and it's you know, smack in the middle right. mm -hmm. of the, the middle line. Yeah, there's not yeah. one way, you know, a tendency to miss one way or the other. Um, you're just fractionally missing one on one side. Yep. The Cobra one's also kind of smack in the middle, just a little bit larger. Uh, then you had kind of your, I guess, left uh, leaning with the Wilson and uh, I guess the TaylorMade in a way. I mean, you had the two, your misses with the TaylorMade were, were left, yeah. um, I guess, as we can kind of take away from that. but. Yeah, so I mean, this is going to be player dependent. So mm -hmm. this is what a golfer should, for sure, look at with their club fitter. If you're not looking yeah. at dispersion, you're not doing it right. Right. So it's going to be player dependent. The results are going to be different for everybody, but this gives you a general idea, at least north to south, of what's going to happen when you have less spin versus right. more spin. Yeah. You can see how it's going to go a little further with less spin and more ball speed, a little shorter with more spin and less ball right. speed. Yeah. Well, and you know, the player dependent aspect of things can only be really figured out for yourself in a fitting at second swing. So that's ultimately why, you know, the, the conclusion of all of our videos is gonna be come and get fit here. But you know, in these comparisons, we definitely wanna reiterate that again, is these are the shots Thomas hit. These are not the shots that you are going to hit in your fitting. So making sure to come in here and get fit, uh, work with one of our master fitters and we'll get you set up with the right iron set for your game in your bag and you'll start playing better golf. So Thomas, thanks for joining today. Hitting all the shots and giving the feedback, um, really good stuff in this test here. Yep, this was fun.